And in that way, David is pointing us to the ultimate king, the better King David, the son of David, the great Messiah, Jesus Christ. And when it comes to Jesus' life, it will go overboard to show us that Jesus himself was and is innocent because he is God. He's perfect and sinless. In fact, you'll remember, Jesus underwent seven trials. And in every situation, he was always pronounced innocent. Pilate would say, in him I find no guilt. The thief on the cross said, surely this man has done nothing wrong. The centurion said, surely this man is innocent. And his own executioners, as they watched him die, said, this man is the son of God. Scripture declares to us over and over and over again that Jesus is perfect, he is sinless, he is God. He was tempted in every way, just as you and I are, yet he was without sin. He's innocent. He's the better David. He is the king of all kings. He is God who dies for our sins. The second thing we see is not just the innocence of David, we see the justice of David. The justice of David. We see it here in the punishment of Benan Rechab. David says to them, as we've just noted, you killed an innocent man and sin must be punished. That this kingdom will be ruled by law and justice. And David will enact vengeance. Scripture tells us over and over again that God says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. But know this as well. Sometimes God delegates out his vengeance to an institution that he has ordained called the government. And David is acting as government in here, in this passage, in execution of this man for his uh, crime. So God has established government to Punish evildoers. That's what Paul says in Romans 13, right? If if, it doesn't bear the sword for nothing. Meaning if you, as, as Paul will say it, if you're an evildoer, you should fear the law and government. But if you're uh, walking in faithfulness, then, then the law and government should be a comfort to you. And so here God delegates out vengeance, but David has said, You committed sin, sin must be punished. David is demonstrating that I will be a just king. And David is pointing us forward to King Jesus.